today, we're going to pause and work on our core strength without doing any crunches. Core strength is so important in yoga for all of our poses, but beyond yoga, having a strong core gives you so much confidence for your day and also the strength to do most of the things we do in our daily life even just sitting and standing. Okay, so let's come on to our hands and knees and let's stretch out our core first. Knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders, little bend in your elbows so that you don't hyperextend. Inhaling, dip your belly down, shin up, tailbone up. This is cow pose. Exhale, shin to chest, tailbone in. Hug the belly in, cat pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And one more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose. Okay. Reach that right arm forward, left leg goes back. Hold it here and let's take 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stretch up further. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, stretch, elbow to knee, stretch, and release. Other side, stretch that left arm forward, that right leg back, and we pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stretch up more, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. That's one, inhale, Exhale, that's two. Inhale, exhale, that's three. Inhale, exhale, that's four. Inhale, exhale, that's five. Inhale, exhale. Okay, give your wrists a little bit of a release. Okay, now we're going to come into our high plank pose. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Walk your toes back. Heels will go right over the toes. Hug pelvis to ribs. Press into your hands. Holding here for 30 more seconds. <laughs> now I'll talk to you guys a little bit as you're in here. Because this pose never seems fun when you're in it. But it is going to be your best friend for building arm strength, shoulder strength, core strength. And that's not just your abs but your back and your sides and your glutes and the tops of your thighs. Three, two, one. Come into a side plank, left arm down, right arm up so that you can see me. Now you can be here or you can bring the right leg forward to be more supported. I'm going to stack my legs. Inhale, raise your arm up. Exhale, thread under. Inhale, up. Exhale. Oh, thread under, inhale up, exhale under, inhale up, exhale under, one more, inhale up, exhale under. Coming back into high plank, side plank, other side. Again, you can do more of a supported side plank or full side plank, extend that left arm up and then Thread it through. You can see it in the back how my arm is going through. This is really good for your obliques. It's two, three, four, and five. Awesome. And then coming back into your high plank, lower your knees down, sit on your calves, contemplate your life. Again, Wiggle out your wrists. All right. We're going to come into a downward facing dog. Then we'll come through and we'll do some boat poses. Right. So hands, shoulders width distance apart, sometimes wider if you have broad shoulders. Tucking your toes, lifting the hips up. 
downward facing dog. And this is just such a great all around pose. Just love down dog. Find some peace here. And this neutralizes your spine and your core. This is good for building up everything as long as you engage your whole body in it. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands. Sit to your booty down. And we're going to work on boat poses with side twists. Okay. So find that bony part of your butt and roll back to that fleshy part right behind it. You can leave your feet on your mat, lean back, holding onto your thighs, or you can see what it feels like to release one arm, keeping your back nice and strong, heart up, and other arm. If this feels good, you can start to lift your legs. If this feels good, you can straighten your legs, either flex or point or point, but do something with your feet to have them engage. Hug your legs in, reach your arms forward, and then bring your hands to your heart. I love to do this with blocks. So bring the block down, pick it up, bring it to the side, pick it up, and then just do that a few times. Sometimes I don't count. I just go until I say to stop. <laughs> and I'll talk to you a little bit more to distract you. So core strength. I love working on my core because I feel like when I actually work on it, I can see more improvement in a lot of other poses. And also, if you have a super bendy back like I do, having a strong core protects it so that you're no longer sitting into it and relying on that super flexibility. So your core really protects you. And release. Whew. Now wrap your arms around your shins. I love this pose. And then just bring your shin to your chest. Breathing deeply. And now with what we're doing, I'm just bringing my head up, you can keep your chin to your chest. With what we're doing, you might not feel like your core hurts, but we are engaging everything. So trust me, this is all making you much stronger. All right, and to end with, take a block or a towel or a book Place it in between your thighs the long way. Hug in. Heels are close to your glutes. Hands, palms down by your side. Press, lift up, adjust the block if you need to. And finding your bridge pose. Why do we do bridge? Bridge engages our entire back body and the back of our core. So this is so important to strengthen your back after you do core work. And really, with everything we've been doing, we've been engaging everything, not just the front of our core. But that is not necessarily the danger, but that's a disadvantage of just doing crunches, is that you're just isolated that front body and you might not strengthen the back. This is my cat pilot, if you can, they can kind of see her. She loves to come when we're filming. All right, and while we're here, and I'm keeping you here for a while, raise your right arm up and flip your fingers towards your face and give yourself more of a wrist release. I know we did a little bit nervous, so this might feel good. Again, micro bend in the elbow. I tend to hyperextend. If you do too, just be mindful. And then flip your left hand, just like we did with the right. Stretch out your fingers, release your arms. Release your back, your glutes, your block. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock and roll three times, because three is an amazing number. And as you do this, let's go more than three. You might feel that you have more control than usual in rolling. If rolling up and down is something you usually do. I do, because I'm on my mat a lot, but not everyone does this. Awesome, last one. Please come to face me. Hopefully that 10 minute crunchless core 
pause helped you up for today to bring you more confidence and more strength. Thank you so much for practicing with me.